a cyber patriot people we're going to look at the cisco packet tracer so this is basically an intro to packet tracer so if you're familiar with it you may want to just go ahead and skip this video because again this is an intro so we're going to start off with looking down here on the bottom left hand side of the screen this is where we can select our devices that we want to add up into packet tracer so we click on this first one, which is routers. We see our list of routers. Clicking on any of the other devices like switches changes the context. We now have switches. So we'll primarily be working with routers, switches, end devices, and within that will be PCs. And then the connections. But also remember there's hubs, wireless devices, security devices, the WAN emulation, WAN standing for Wide Area Network, custom-made devices, and a multi-user connection. So let's step through an exercise here. Let's step through adding one switch and then a couple PCs and pinging from one PC to another. So again, I'm just going to click on switches, which I already have. I want to drag a switch up drop it. Now I want to click on the end devices. Click on one, drag it up. Click on it again, drag it up. So now I have my switch and my two computers. Now I need to connect them. Click on the connections and you see the very first one is an automatic connection. This is kind of like cheating. We'll use it the first time just so you can see how it works. Once we click on it, we click on our first device we want to connect and our second device. You see it drops it dra drags a cable. So we'll click on it. It automatically chooses the appropriate ports. You'll see there the solid black line indicates it's a copper straight through cable. We're going to connect a copper straight through cable through our second PC in the switch. So we'll click on it. Click on the PC. Choose the interface click on the switch and choose the interface up there now you can see there's a whole bunch of interfaces we can choose any of them we're just going to go with the second one here now at some point these are going when you first connect these they're going to be red and eventually they'll turn green red indicating it's in an error state connections not established green indicating that connections established traffic is flowing. Alright, so we have our devices connected. Now we want to go ahead and test that we can pass traffic from one device to the other. In order to do that, we have to configure each of these computers with an IP address. To get to the config, we just click on the device one time. It'll open up a new screen. This is opening up on my second screen on my computer. So I'm having to drag it over, but it should pop right up for you. When you open this window, you'll see there are several tabs, a physical, configure, config for configuration, desktop tab, software services. So the physical shows you what's installed in the system. The config gives you a real easy, simple manner to configure certain items. And that's what we're going to use on this very first PC to configure the network card. So we're going to go to click on Fast Ethernet 0. And here we have choice of uh, DHCP for an IP or static. We're going to use static. Or we're going to type in 192.168.1.1. We hit tab. And it fills in. Since this is a Class C network address, it's going to go ahead and fill in the Class C network subnet mask. One thing to be careful about, particularly when you get to switches, is that this on is selected if you're going to use this method. We're done on this computer. I'm just going to hit close. I'm going to go to the other one. Drag that into the window. Here we're going to go to the desktop. This is the other way of configuring. And so now I'm going to IP configuration. And here we have basically the same but we have a little bit more detail 
So we wanted to put in default gateway, DNS server, all that kind of stuff we can. So we're going to make this one 192.168.1.2. Again, system automatically puts in the subnet mask. Now, I just want to close out the IP configuration tab here, which is going to bring me back to this desktop. Now I want to confirm connectivity, so I want to click on this command prompt. And now I want to type in ping, and I want to ping the other computer. We got replies as opposed to request timeout, so that means we have connectivity from one computer to the other. I'm just going to go ahead and close this out and close that out. So we saw how to add devices. Again, click on the device type, click on the individual device that we want to add, drag it up, drop it. Now, if you accidentally add a device that you need to get rid of, if you click on it, see how it changes to a grayish color? That actually means it's the selected item. If you go over here to the right and click the X, it'll delete it. And it prompts you to delete it. You say yes. If you notice, it still stays in X. So if we clicked on any of these other devices, it would delete those as well. So after deleting the devices that you want to delete, make sure to go back over to the right and click on the select icon. Now, if you have a bunch of devices you want to delete, just drag a couple up here. You can select all of them and then hit the delete and it'll delete them all at one time. The one last thing I want to go ahead and show you is under options, preferences, you probably want to turn on always show port labels and what that does is it shows these labels right here so it makes it easier to see which interface the cable is connected to and then actually one other item to show you down here on the bottom right you can be in a real-time mode or in a simulation mode if you go into simulation mode, some things may not act the way you'd expect them to. For example, if we went in and ran that ping command, and you're in simulation mode, unless you have it on autoplay, it won't ping properly. You'll, you'll get errors. So always check that you're in the real-time mode versus the simulation mode. And in another video, we'll get into a little bit more regarding simulation. So again, this is just a summary, show you how to utilize the interface in the program. Thanks.